Sheridan. So, talking politics. Earlier we had a very interesting chat with Nick Cavallos of Campaign Research. He's at the center of this whole Kotler calls scandal, or scandal's the wrong word, controversy, let's say. It's certainly been on the lips of many in Ottawa earlier this week. Speaking of lips, Justin Trudeau's were hurling some S-bombs across the commons. He was quickly apologizing and mercifully the House has finally risen for the holiday break. They say goodwill to all men, but Friday's Party Lines panel is where we find out what the women think. In Vancouver, we've got Elise Mills. She's a conservative strategist and a rookie. Thanks for coming on. Right, Elise. Alex, Thanks, Scott, for um, having me. Let me ask you, it almost feels like the conservatives have said, you know what, we got what we got in Quebec. That's all we're going to get. We're done. We're fine. We're finished there. Is that, uh, is that, am I being unfair? I think you're being unfair, Scott. Uh, you know, I, and welcome to the show. That, you just hey, called me unfair as your first outing. Come on. <laughs> well, you know, I, I've got to challenge you here and there. I might as well break the ice right out <laughs> I of the gate, into right? That punch. Yeah, you did. But, you know, thanks for throwing it for me. But um, I, I think that, you know, it takes a long time to build your roots in Quebec. Uh, it's a diverse province with many different issues uh, running gamut there. And I think that you have to come in with a respectable approach. Um, and I don't think that, you know, the Conservatives have walked away from Quebec. Uh, unfortunately, all you're hearing about is uh, the NDP free falling there and Liberals trying to find what their base is. And unfortunately, <laughs> the Liberals were built from, the Quebec, from Quebec and died on the sword of Quebec. So I, I'm not surprised there's been a lot of focus with those two parties in that region. But I, I think that, you know, the, my, my co-panelists are right. There's a lot of time between now and the next federal election. I would be very worried if I was an NDPer today. Uh, it's, it's obvious that they're, they're scrambling for a narrative, uh, a raison d'etre, wow. if I can say. Okay. So, it, you know, it, it's, I'm, glad, I'm glad we're sitting over here. Guys, sorry, Elise, I'm going to stick with you uh, because I just want to do a quick turn, all three of you. We don't have a ton of time left, but about a minute. But Elise, react to Nick Kuvalis. And, and, you know, he was on here earlier today. You saw the controversy. You know, are those tactics reprehensible, and will the Conservatives back away from that stuff? Or is Nick right? Is he saying, you know what, there's nothing wrong with it, and I didn't do a darn thing wrong? Well, I, I think it happens across party lines. It's not a partisan issue. And, again, I think no, we have to separate doesn't. it out with what yeah. happened. Well, it's it, it's not it, it's it's what all, I, every party can be accused of that. But I want to separate it out from the decorum of the house because they're two separate issues Excuse completely. Me. That that's party politics. How it turns out that okay, we seem yeah. to have less time, even though we have fewer people with Tasha away. But unfortunately, <laughs> we're already out. I really appreciate you uh, all three of you coming on. Merritt Styles in Toronto, Alexander Mendez in Montreal, and Elise Mills for a rookie outing. Thank you very much in Vancouver. Thank you. All right. Happy, Happy holidays Scott. to you. Thank Happy you very holidays much. Happy holidays to all of you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.